Not to burn yourself. Hey, what's going on, internet? It is Friday and I left home about 6.30 in the morning. Right now it's uh, 7.50 and I'm heading uh, to a new destination, very unknown uh, to me and I haven't seen much of uh, information on it. All my buddies are away. They just left this morning on another adventure and uh, that will be 12 days for them out uh, in uh, Vancouver Island or to Vancouver Island. I wasn't able to join them uh, because uh, I don't have any time off at the current time. I figure at least I go for this trip here. So they will be riding out uh, towards BC. I'm heading pretty much the same way, but uh, I will be turning off uh, just at the end of uh, Highway 22. So as you see, the weather is beautiful, it is warm. Uh, a bit cooler in the morning, but it will be warm and it will hit 30 degrees again. The only crappy part is that uh, you cannot see far. Uh, the whole Alberta uh, last over two weeks. It is covered in smoke from the fires that are burning down in British Columbia. So normally you would be able to see the mountains right here, but uh, they're not far, not today, uh, not last couple days, not last couple weeks. I've got a little bit of pavement to cover by the time I get to Castle area or Pincher Creek area. And then I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be gravel. I hope it's not gonna be too challenging because if it will be, I might have to back out. I'm by myself and uh, I don't wanna take any major risks, especially now. Uh, during COVID, uh, it's still not a bad idea to end up in a hospital. So the sun is just coming up on my left. Uh, it's, uh, you can see it's uh, really, really hazy. Anyways, enough blobbing for now. And uh, I'll cover that uh, here, that uh, pavement. And once I get to the off-road section or closer to it, I'll be back with you guys again. Active log hauling. Oh, great. All right, road restriction used between hours, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and there is the truck coming. As long as I don't have major trucks, too many of them, I should be okay. I think it will be just the gravel and that section is actually even wet makes it manageable awesome and the truck is parked thank god otherwise that would be pretty nasty i think the truck oh, where do I go from here looks like I'm going left sticking to the main drag okay There we go, we have a cow on the road. <laughs> Hello, cow. She got freaked out. 
I don't know what the hell she's doing on the road, but Oh, there's a little baby cow and a mama Looks like it's a, some kind of a gas plant here too. Looks like people are camping around here. Wow, what a view! That's a quite a bit of a climbing up here. Wow.
Not to burn yourself. I don't know, uh, I'm trying to find something because there's supposed to be some kind of a waterfall around in the area. Oh, uh, it may be there, it's not there. Okay. It's up to the top of, uh, it's a neat ride, you can absolutely get in there with that. Okay. I don't know about a waterfall though, it may be that way. I think it's, uh, maybe, I don't know, because I, I got the, the Directions Facebook group and I'm trying to follow it and <laughs> don't see it. <laughs> That, that would be my be next best guess because it's one step lower. Okay. So you're only, like you're, you're almost up at the top here and you get a beautiful view. Oh, is that right? So it's worth to go there anyway. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Okay, thank you very much. Right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I made it to the top of the mountains here and I met a group of uh, RCMP police, or, uh, police uh, officers. They were pretty cool and uh, I asked for directions uh, where are the waterfalls uh, that uh, I was given directions to a waterfall but I didn't see it. Maybe they're still up there somewhere. Uh, I'll find out. Uh, there's one more section that I would like to check it out. Uh, down uh, there in the valley uh, below, that's the road I came on. It's winding uh, right across there, so, and then I came up here on that pretty steep uh, ascent, so I'm at the peak, and guess what, I forgot what is the peak, peak name, uh, I was passing by at the signs and I didn't pay attention because I was looking for something else, but anyways, uh, this is it, uh, she made it to the top. It's beautiful, I just wish it was more clear. There's a lot of bare rock in here, there's not much growing at this elevation. Just a few trees. Looks like there's some kind of a canyon. I'm just gonna get down there, maybe have a look what it is. Oh, this is pretty crazy. I don't know if that uh, used to be a coal mine or what, or some kind of a slide because it looks like it's a, a ridge in between the mountain. That looks pretty cool. And uh, it's pretty steep up here actually, but it's a beautiful, holy, I just wish it was more clear. I gotta come back here, that's for sure. Uh, this is very interesting. I never seen anything like that, uh, such a ridge in between the mountains. I don't know if that was man-made or it's a nature-made. I have no idea.
take it slowly and we're gonna be okay. I'm not sure what's out there. Let's have a look maybe. That will be the bottom of that. Oh, I don't think I wanna go there. That's too crazy. Time to turn around. Wow, wow. Wow. How am I gonna turn around here? So, I lost my drone. I had it on a comm system. I didn't hear that the battery was low and it landed somewhere here. I'm not able to find, it's too hot and uh, uh, I don't have enough, even enough water. I drank uh, most of it now. I tried hiking up, up that mountains, but uh, I didn't have any luck. Shit. I will try to come back here maybe tomorrow uh, in a car and dress lighter with water and maybe at that point I will be able to hike. I saved that location on uh, DJI website and hopefully I'm gonna be able to find it. If not then oh well there goes 600 bucks. Shit. Not good. That ruined my day. I had a, such a wonderful day. And now... Oh well, it is what it is. Shit happens. I tried to make a video with uh, tracing and uh, I lost them uh, I, I was riding pretty slow actually like I don't know 20 less than 20 kilometers per hour and I had a uh, this drone in a view in a mirror and all of a sudden it disappeared I'm not sure what the hell happened now I need to find some water uh, as soon as I get out of this road uh, probably around Coleman and uh, I'll look for water because I'm very disappointed. You know, the most thing is uh, to get home safely. But tomorrow is going to be, I'm pretty sure, a lot of cars. So I'm definitely not coming here on the bike, uh, on my motorcycle. I'll take the truck or my wife's car. This is it for my today's adventure. It was pretty unfortunate that I lost that drone, but I'm gonna try to find it. Uh, I'm gonna go back uh, tomorrow morning maybe and I'll search for it.
eventually. Two hours later. We found the drone. Uh, I managed to come back uh, the same day to the area where I thought I lost the drone. I wasn't able to find it in my motorcycle gear. And here with the help of my daughter, right here she is, uh, we found it. Uh, we just followed the GPS. Um, and uh, it's crazy. I spent so much time looking, uh, sweating like a pig <laughs> and no luck. Uh, and uh, I give up. That's uh, two, 200 kilometers away from home. So uh, it took me uh, two hours uh, to get uh, here uh, on a motorcycle, another two to get home and two to get back here. So right now we're looking at almost seven o'clock. Uh, so that's a big day. We started, I started riding this morning at seven and uh, I landed here on those trees. Uh, right there, if you see, it's caught and I don't think there's even too much damage on it. So, there he is, the baby drone. Yay, let's see how much of a damage once I come out. Do you want me to hold it? <sighs> that makes me so happy. Is there any damage? No. No. No, not even the propellers. Wow. Hold the camera. We'll check it out. So the dinner land to the bottom. We'll check the props. There's a little notch on this one. Not a big deal. We can right replace there. that. And uh, the good thing is it probably was drizzling here or raining. Not a big deal uh, because it was in between the trees. Yeah, right there. He didn't get wet. I don't see any spots of uh, water on him. So I can't see anything. Nothing is broken. Good as right. new. There's not even a damage. It's just a sap from the pine tree. So perfect. We can fold them and start heading home. Another two hours to get home. <laughs> Alrighty. I was flying the drone all the way hell up there. And I tried to go into follow me, uh, the trace mode on a motorcycle. And I didn't notice uh, that the battery was getting really low uh, in the sun and haze here. And uh, I lost them. Um, I didn't even see the warning because uh, the drone was connected to, to, to the comm system in my helmet instead of a speaker on the phone. So I didn't hear the warnings. So it's a bummer. But uh, after all, good ending. So this is it for today's adventure. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, uh, subscribe and share. And see you in the next video. I will be able to make more drone footage right on. <laughs> and yeah, I came here in a truck. Now we have uh, two hours get to get home. <laughs>